they are caught up in a war with invisible enemies. You don't hear the guns, you don't hear the bombs, but you don't see the soldiers. It's just killing them. And therefore, they ought to be on. Serving the Guyanese community here in New York for many years is Honorable Consul General Mrs. Barbara Athley. A humanitarian at heart with vast experience in disaster and emergency preparedness, she has been in direct contact with many families affected by COVID-19 all across the United States and gets a real sense of how families are impacted by this pandemic. On March, I think it was the 17th or thereabout, I got one call that uh, one of the famous Guyanese drummers, his mother died, COVID. Another very popular mu musician from Guyana, his sister died, and so they called me, I know the sister. Then another popular Guyanese, Billy Brapit, who was a very, very close, hardworking member of the Guyanese community. He died and I was like, what's going on? So the numbers kept coming in and the calls get, um, are coming in. A few days ago, the United States recorded a staggering 100,000 deaths from COVID-19. New York State accounted for 29,484 deaths as of May 29th, according to the Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center. Majority of those deaths are in Queens and Brooklyn many of whom were Guyanese. Um, this is a woman who got sick, went to the hospital, tested positive. Unfortunately, she died. Now, this is someone who has children in Guyana, right? And I think one or two others here. So the daughter who lives in another state comes to make arrangements, comes to New York to make the arrangements for her and um, made arrangements with one of the funeral homes to retrieve the body from the hospital. And when the funeral home turned up at the hospital, they couldn't find the body. It's not just that her mother died, but she just couldn't find her mother. Later on, we, um, after a number of um, uh, search and tracing, it was caught up in that, you know, there was a fiasco in, in Brooklyn with a funeral home. Yes. The body was actually there. Dozens of bodies were discovered at this location, according to the New York Times. She has set up a Facebook page to honor those Guyanese who would have died from the disease. We don't have the true numbers from our, um, uh, page that we said we have 86 so far but the numbers are more we had um, um, Maryland Minnesota we had Texas we had Orlando um, lots in Queens lots in Brooklyn New Jersey Connecticut the Bronx but they're all over Athley an international public servant who served the United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF for over 20 years and served on emergency missions to India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and also worked in active war zones such as Syria, said she gleaned on her experience to manage emergency situations such as this one for many stranded Guyanese. Uh, there is a Guyanese um, um, woman right now. She is hospitalized, but she came up for um, medical treatment. The medical treatment is done and she doesn't have anywhere to stay um, so she's still at the hospital so but they wouldn't really they, they keeping her doing therapy so they would they don't want to like release, release her from hospital unless she's going back again we are not her next of kin so and so we couldn't speak directly to the facilities we managed to an NGO to make contact with the hospital because her family in Guyana, they were concerned and they reached out to us. So we had an NGO to work on our behalf and then they linked us up. So I spoke with the doctor and the doctor gave me her information and contact numbers 
so that the family can um, have direct contact with her. This scene of stepping in to help families played out in many other instances and more so for families who would have lost a loved one from the disease. Athali said she was stepping in calling on other Guyanese who are frontline workers, many nurses and paramedics to assist other families. She indicated the Facebook page was established in efforts to honor a life and a person of value. Let persons know that this was a human being. This was somebody who contributed to society. Um, this was someone who was loved. It was a mother, a father, a brother, a sister. They all belong. And I just thought that we shouldn't just leave them there as a statistic. But to bring the human touch to a valued life that was lost through to no fault of theirs. In New York, it's not just Guyanese, but other Caribbean countries are recording numbers equally as high as Guyana. As a member of the CARICOM Council Corps, which comprised the CARICOM Consulate Generals with representation here in New York, Athali is involved in weekly meetings with member states, sharing best practices and making decisions as a unified body. One such pertinent recent decision proposed by member states to the current chair, which is Barbados, is a letter to the mayor of New York, Bill de Blasio, asking for an idea of the number of nationals from the CARICOM countries who would have died from COVID-19. Uh, some of them have like, know about two or three, but others like Barbados are now. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, the numbers are on the player highlight to Guyana. With this report from New York, I'm Jennifer Jabbar.